Verizon gets a $250 million discount for Yahoo. Judge rules that CRISPR-Cas9 belongs to the Broad Institute. MakerBot lays off 30% of its workforce and more. It's Wednesday, February 15th, and this is Crunch Report. What up, Tech Crunch Land? I'm tired on a Wednesday, but sometimes you just gotta hustle, so hope you're all hustling on this fine Wednesday. Let's jump into the news. After two separate breaches of data at Yahoo, people have been wondering, will Verizon ask for a discount on its deal to acquire Yahoo, or drop it all together? Looks like they're about to go with a small discount. Verizon and Yahoo are close to reaching a new acquisition deal with a price tag that's $250 million less than the $4.8 billion agreed upon last year, according to a Bloomberg report. A Verizon spokesperson declined to comment on the report. Even without confirmation, the story has been good for Yahoo stock. As of 11.51 a.m. Eastern, the price is up 1.4% since the market opened. Verizon made the deal in the first place to grow its digital media businesses following its acquisition of AOL which owns our very own TechCrunch. Following a high profile and very heated court hearing over ownership of the patents for gene editing technology CRISPR-Cas9, judges at the United States Patent and Trademark Office in Alexandria, Virginia, ruled today that the technology belongs to the Broad Institute of MIT and Harvard, not the University of California, Berkeley. CRISPR's promise is huge. The technology could potentially change humanity's genetic code, as well as produce new types of treatments and even cure diseases. And because it's such a huge breakthrough, it's estimated to be worth billions, even trillions of dollars. In a one sentence ruling, the judge said, in light of the determination that the party's claims do not interfere, we enter judgment of no interference in fact, which neither cancels nor finally refuses either party's claims. Khan Academy might have started off teaching mathematics, but the online education company has grown its offerings considerably outside of STEM in recent years. One of the most fun is the relationship between the Academy and Pixar. Moving forward from past partnerships to teach virtual cameras, effects, and animations, learners will now be able to study the art of storytelling from directors of movies like Inside Out, Up, and Brave, in addition to the artists and animators behind Inside Out and Ratatouille. The lessons come matched with activities coming out over the course of 2017 that teach character creation, story building, and emotional appeal. Y'all ready for some animated crunch report? Okay, this is what we got for our next story. We got me with my awesome hair, a house, a dog with hair like me. <laughs> a dog with hair like me, that's crazy. And then a 3D printer, because it's all about 3D printers. Not good enough? Well, I'm still learning. If that wasn't enough of a hint, our next story is about MakerBot. The 3D printing company acquired by Stratasys in 2013 for a cool $400 million laid off 30% of its company in an effort to cut costs. This comes on top of a prior 20% layoff in 2015. Not so fun just after Valentine's Day, but it should be a nice litmus test to see if that impulse tender date from last night really wants to be with you for you. MakerBot is doubling down on enterprise education in lieu of consumer use. To their credit, it's true that 3D printing just hasn't hit its prime yet for the average consumer, so we'll see. Hopefully company CEO Nadav Goshen doesn't make large-scale layoffs an annual event. That's the report for today. I'm Tito Hamzy. Crunch Report airs every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com. You can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube and apparently on Alexa, which is kind of cool. So we'll see you guys tomorrow.